Grant, three goals, three points. Couldn't have asked for much more. Yeah, it's it's, it's a, we're delighted. You know, we're delighted. It's a it's a good performance from from us today. Um, a little bit short first half. You know, in terms of what we wanted to do, I thought we were maybe be a little bit slow in our play and a little bit. Um, we didn't take as, as, as many risks as, as I wanted in possession. But second half, I thought, you know, the boys, one thing they do do well is they take, in, uh, they take information on well. Um, we had a little tactical change at half-time in terms of that, and they delivered it second half to a tee. Um, so I couldn't be more pleased and proud of them. And the way the first goal came as well from a corner adds to our attacking repertoire. Yeah, it does. I mean, look, we we... We try, we try. It's not easy to score from a corner, but it's um, we're trying to we're trying to work and we're trying to learn on things. It's um, it was a great ball from Camille. Um, he was just on the move. He nearly scored one just before that, so it's it's nice for you, for him to get on the end of it, um, and, and get a goal that is actually his, you know. And uh, there's no there's nobody asking, well, what, is that Tom's or what? Um, but yeah, look, I thought it was good performance from him, good goal. Uh, and then the second half, I thought we were excellent. Yeah, you've <laughs> taken the question away from me in regards to. How, in Keane Lewis Potter because Harley Dean has said in commentary he's, he's a formidable defender and he's been around for some time but how well did he apply that finish? Very well, very well. I mean, firstly, great great goal from Camille. I'm not sure who he passed the ball through. I need to see that back again. It happened so quick but what a pass, what a finish. What a run. Jared. Yeah, great pass. And then, you know, young Keno. We, we brought him on because he, we thought maybe they would turn a little bit at the back and his legs might get in behind him. And, you know, for him to shift it right foot, finish, that is what he does every single day in training. So pleased for him. Yeah, well, heading into Christmas now, are you delighted or pleased with where Hull City are, 11th in the table? Would you have asked for a little bit more? We're OK. We're OK. We're not, we're, we're not there yet. Um, we're still working. Um, we've got a long way to go. We're at the halfway point. If we do what we did this 23 games, the next 23, it's not going to be enough. I said that during the week. So we've got a, we've got a lot to do. Um, hopefully we can, get, we can keep the form that we've shown over the last 12, 13 games um, into the second half of the season. Then we'll be under, we'll be under the chance. Yeah, quick turnaround as well coming up. Nottingham Forest boxing their side. After today, only one win in seven. Another chance for good, a, th- a good three points at home. Yeah, I mean, our home form has been good. Um, over the over the past few games at home, we've turned it around a little bit. We've looked more of a threat at home, um, and I think it's important for any team that wants to have a, a chance at the top six. Then the home form is massive. Yes, our away form can improve a little bit from where it was at the start of the year, but we'll, you know it's it's almost gone the other way, isn't it? We were good away and poor at home, and now we're good at home and not so good away. So we need to bring the both of them together, get a wee bit more consistency, and then we'll have a chance. What do you think will bring that consistency? Just continue the performance that we're showing and um, getting some bodies back off the injured table as well will help. Um, not an excuse or anything, but we've got five or six big players out at the minute. Um, so the boys are giving everything they have for us um, every single day. Um, you know, and it's a tremendous effort from 18 fit professionals at the football club at the minute. That's what we've got, you know, and um, they've been phenomenal. Um, they've got another three big shifts coming up before before January and hopefully we can add one or two maybe to strengthen the group Reese, talk us through that one great victory this today yeah another great performance and another important three points uh, picked up today um, started off maybe a little little bit uh, slow but I thought our second half was really uh, played really well um, and yeah no, happy happy we won as a defender are you going to be happy with a clean sheet as well yeah that's that's uh, something that I look uh, look into games me and Jordi uh, especially everyone on the back four even Longy so yeah no clean sheets uh, positive and hopefully take that into the next game as well yeah this back four looks very solid now with Callum Elder also coming back in just how pleasing is that in a way because when you have a back four that stays the same week in week out you kind of work each other out and it always brings good solidarity yeah as you say uh, it's nice to keep the same back four um uh, instead of sometimes it inter- interferes when you keep changing the players, but no, it's uh, it's good. It's good that we're getting got a clean sheet today, and obviously it's confidence for the next game. So yeah, yeah, we've managed to score from a corner today <coughs> through Tom Eve's great glancing header. Are you get- going to get in on the act anytime soon if the ball comes to you? <laughs> I'm still uh, still waiting for my uh, my opportunity, but um, no, I hopefully get one soon. But as you say, now positive. We've been working on training. Uh, um, working on the corners in training so yeah nice happy uh, today's paid off yeah, and what's the dressing room been like for Keane Lewis part today because there's absolutely no disputing his finish this afternoon no uh, Keane has been doing really well very very talented young player and uh, do you know what I mean it's, it's all positive for him and hopefully he just keeps enjoying the moment and carrying on doing what he's doing so he's doing well so yeah
maybe more for both outcomes against Forest on Boxing Day. Has the gaffer been quite lenient with you in the build up to the game, or is it strict focus? Uh, strict focus. Uh, everyone go, uh, go away from the game today and look after ourselves, uh, and obviously uh, look forward to that game. Um, we know it's not going to be an easy game, but pretty sure when we're back on the training pitch, uh, we'll focus on it.